Hello, Mingla Bashe. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Learn English with May. I'm back with another Gen Z expression in this video, and this is something that you might already know and you might already be using. This is a hyperbole. This expression is a hyperbole. It is ex exaggerated and it shouldn't be taken literally. And of course, the expression that I'm talking about is I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. So expression is I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. So hyperbole is I'm dead. Hyperbole is I'm dead. 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 Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> it's in um Bali, but I I hope I'm pronouncing it right, but that is what this expression is. It is a hyperbole and it's exaggerated. You shouldn't take it uh, literally. I'm dead. So this expression is used when you want to describe a situation that's completely hilarious. Or if somebody said something that's really, really funny, you use this expression, I'm dead. Um, you don't use it, however, when you want to... Um, you know, when you're taking the test, like when you're taking a language test like IELTS or TOEFL, because these are slangs and slangs are difficult to interpret, especially if you are not able to explain thoroughly how you're using it in which context and it could be misinterpreted. So slangs should be avoided uh, in language tests if you can. You can use phrasal verbs you can use idiomatic expressions however and those could actually push your scores up so anyway today's gen z expression is i'm dead <laughs> thank you so much i will see you all again very soon bye